Sorry, he died about a year ago of a burst appendix. Sorry to disturb you, sir. It's all right, we're too late. <laughs> Jed, right, I'll take it away until you can see what it is, man, all right? Yeah, hang on, that's it, I got it, I got it, right? It's an antelope on a skateboard. <laughs> that is good gear, all right? <laughs> Go on, then, Noel. Show them. I'm embarrassed now. Yeah, right. Go on, show them. Show them your tongue. <laughs> that's all right, then. <laughs> see you got the job, then. Actually, actually, you know, a tongue, a tongue that size, I mean, how do you get it back in your mouth? Do you, like, roll it up like a carpet or something? That's huge. <laughs> no, it just sits there. All right. like, my wife's very pleased, oh, actually. I bet she is. Because yeah. <laughs> like, I've got the cleanest eyebrows in Kent. <laughs> oh, anyway, enough about my tongue, Gareth. Uh, why don't you show us your tongue? <laughs> I can't. Now, come on, you know, I've shown you mine, you show me yours like we did at school, you remember? <laughs> hey? <laughs> Okay, then. Go on, then. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Is that the full extent of your tongue? <laughs> I've seen a baby's shoe with a tongue bigger than that. <laughs> you can't even do a proper raspberry, can you? No. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, look. I bet you ten quid I can make your tongue hang out further than that. All right, you want some? You want some? Okay, all right, here we go. Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh, Pamela Anderson. Michelle Pfeiffer with Pamela Anderson. <laughs> oh, bollocks. <laughs> let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. I don't think I can, John Boy. I, th I think I picked something up from that sheepdog. <laughs> Love Lord. <laughs> so, what can I do you for then? Um, your six by four window frames. What size are they? Six by four, you say? They're six by four, mate. <laughs> you have a couple of them. Sorry. So, uh, how many is that I need? Uh, couple, you say? Good. That'll be two. Yeah, stick us down for two, then. Anything else? Primer paint. What colour's your pink primer? Uh, pink primer, you say? Yeah. Uh, yellow, brown, pink, uh, pink. Uh, the pink primer comes in pink, mate. Yeah, I'll take a tin. Good. Uh, I'm afraid we're out of stock with the pink. We got green. Green? What colour's that? <laughs> Uh, that's green, mate. No, I'll wait for the pink. Right. Uh, cement. How much does 100 weight bag weigh? <laughs> Harry! What? 100 weight bag of cement, mate. How much does it weigh? Hey, John, I'll just weigh it. Just weigh it. <laughs> Weighs 100 weight, mate. Yeah, that one of them. Right. So, uh, when can you deliver? Thursday. Thursday? What day is that then? <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, that's enough, lad. Right. Where do you want this lot delivered to then? Uh, my house. <laughs> uh, what's your address, mate? Hello. What? What's my address? I don't know. Well, I'm afraid we can't deliver it if we haven't got an address, mate. I'll go on, then. <laughs> Harry! What? 
How can he go home if he hasn't got an address, like? I'll ask him tonight. He lives next door. <laughs> No, I don't. Because, uh, like, if they did ban mining, like, it'd just go underground, wouldn't it? <laughs> God, this is a dreadful place. For ten days, the four of us have been crammed together in this tiny little hut as the storm rages outside. The main question, how to keep warm. <laughs> We have stopped up the windows to preserve what little warmth there is. Last night, we ate the last of the corned beef. <laughs> this may not have been a good idea. <laughs> Unfortunately, Oates's flatulence threatens to melt the very ice upon which we huddle. We've managed to survive this long, thanks only to the huskies. Come here, you canine beauty. <laughs> Lift your tail for the good captain. <laughs> we ate the last of the huskies yesterday. Consequently, Oates's gas hatch is now firing on all cylinders. <laughs> da, 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 da. Wake up, for God's sake. Where is it? You're blowing off like a walrus on Guinness, man. <laughs> Who, me? Yes, go outside and see if the storms have baited, you foul-ass bastard. <laughs> All right. All right. some time. Block the door up, don't let it back in. Well, we were both keen to adopt. Yes, uh, they, they said we were too old to adopt in this country. So, with all the problems in Romania, well, there are hundreds of orphans. We didn't hesitate. No, that's how we got Kostya and we're very happy. Kostya! Kostya, look what Mummy's got for you. Uh, Titty buckle time. Uh, <laughs> He's got a very healthy appetite. <coughs> it's difficult <laughs> to believe that when we first got him, he weighed less than 13 stone. <laughs> In a way, I, I'm more on, pleased for Ken on, than for myself. <laughs> Today's Kostya's birthday, so we're throwing a party for him and all his little friends. Happy birthday, dear Kostya! Here he is! Yes, it was quite moving, really. The look on his little face, he, he was so appreciative of all the fuss we made. He had the time of his life. He usually likes to help me in the garden. I don't know where he is today, though. He must be helping his mother. Anyway. Hello, Kostya. Hello. Bubbles, bubbles, many bubbles. This is the third bath you've had today. <laughs> He's got such a cheeky sense of humour. <laughs> He's having a little joke, isn't he? <laughs> Marjorie says she's just about managing to cope. I'll be out of the Burns unit next week. They came from the frozen north. Vicious, brutal warriors. Nothing could stop them. They 
took whatever they wanted. <laughs> their hearts were as cold as the land of their birth. Rape was not on their agenda. Me is the booby bra. What? The booby bra, the booby bra. Ah, the booby bra. Dickity back these kiddies. She's in the book. Their ways were different. <laughs> the pretty birdie. The pretty birdie. Pretty, pretty. Ah! 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 Bye bye, Kabusha. <laughs> they crossed the North Sea. And then they cross dressed. <laughs> now we move on to contestant number six, Leif Erickson. Uh, she enjoys world travel and pillaging and eventually would like to work with children. <laughs> so let's take one last lingering look at our luscious contestants. <laughs> and the winner is... <laughs> number four, Eric Morrison. The Vikings, the world's roughest bunch of Jessies. Probably, but not quite as tough as... <laughs> the French. Morning, Dad. Mum? Morning. Kevin, happy birthday. Oh, great. Thanks, Mum. Dad? There's a nice little surprise in there for you this year, Kevin. Oh. Oh, right. So, who are my real parents, then? Wagon wheel. You lucky beggar. There you go. Boo! Ah! That's quick. <laughs> hey, Curly. <laughs> Smell that. Oh, that flower smells rotten. <laughs> it's not the flower. I've got nitchy bottoms. <laughs> I know. Catalogue time. Oh. <laughs> Big lookout. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ladies undergarment section. <laughs> Heaven. Look at that icy corset. <laughs> Quick, your mum's coming! <laughs> Only joking. Stay up. Sounds like my sister's home. Mm. <laughs> What's she doing? <laughs> She's taking her clothes off. What, what colour underpants she wearing? Um, bl black. <laughs> black. 94p per calendar month. <laughs> what sort of brassiere she got on? Yeah. It's a bit disappointing. Why? She's not wearing one. <laughs> oh, oh. She's putting on... She's putting on a flannelette nighty. Say it again. <laughs> flannelette. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh! <laughs> oh! 
Ciao. <laughs> what are you doing here, sis? I didn't know Curly were here. Hello, Curly. Uh, hello. <laughs> Do you want to come and play with me in my room? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to come and play grown-ups games, Kim? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> It'll cost you a wagon wheel. Never! <laughs> Man, it's terrible. She's like the only woman I've ever really loved, but she split, man. You know, she blew me out. Hey, man, don't worry. Tomorrow we'll get you a puncture repair kit. Oh, great. <laughs> Switzerland. I'm sure you'll agree it's as pretty as a picture. That's because it is a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Switzerland, <laughs> land of cuckoo clocks, breathtaking scenery, and even more incredible, lagers, ten quid a pint. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's free, as is the case at the home of Albert Lacroix. Hello. <laughs> I must greet you in the traditional Swiss manner. <laughs> Albert is an expert on traditional Swiss food and drink. And snogging blokes. No wonder he carries a handbag. Perhaps you would like to try traditional Swiss glue vine. Mm. It is uh, both uh, full-bodied and alcoholic. <laughs> Sounds a bit like me. <laughs> oh, God! Got a tea bag in it, you silly sod. Uh, well, uh, maybe you would prefer to try our traditional Swiss uh, oh. brandy. Mm. It is made entirely from peaches. Whoa. Here we are. Mm. Prost! Damon Hill! <laughs> oh. You like a bit of seven up? What? I do. <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> Sneezy. <laughs> Dopey. Dog. Grumpy. I'm <laughs> <And> happy. <laughs> happy! I'm <laughs> bloody <Hopefully> delirious! <laughs> I see no ships. Yeah. <laughs> this is a traditional Swiss fondue. Oh, great. I'm starving. I'm so hungry, I can eat a horse. <laughs> Present company accepted. <laughs> First, you put some bread on a fork. <laughs> forky, forky. <laughs> then you dip it in. Dippy, dippy. And then you eat it. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Perhaps you would like to try some? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's so hot! Uh, hot! <laughs> <laughs> Is it me? Or am I pissed? <laughs> Attention! Attention! <laughs> Better out than in. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I must ask you to leave my home. <laughs> I've been slung out of better places than this before. Okay. <laughs> Us Brits might be broke, but we still got a bit of charm. Out! <laughs> hey. I'm a little bit seasick here. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, but the fire is still remain. You, you cannot ski, sir. You cannot ski, please! You cannot ski because it's summertime! Order. Order.
Ladies and gentlemen, from the London Palladium taxi rank, it's the cabbies. <laughs> Some you'll bling gully Geezers and geezeresses, introduce it to you. <laughs> All the way from the East End, who's set in Elm Street, give it some large for Cabby Paul Bradley. Do you want it? Steve, Frank, Diamond Geezers, Diamond Show, your show, me, I am Barbara Cartland's face. He is well made up. What? I'm Roseanne Barr's niggers. He is well chuffed. <laughs> Cabby Paul, as usual, dress sense, absolutely lutely immaculate. Injubitably. Injubitably. Knees up. Knees up. Knees up! Knees up! Knees up! Yes, I love potion, yes. Fish, 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 fish,